guys, welcome to another episode of The Vaughn Show. Today, I'm gonna do a confessional. You know, I have not done one of these confessionals um, in a very, very long time. And I decided today, literally at 5.19 in the morning, I woke up and I was like, you know what? I need to do a confessional because I haven't done one in a long time. But um, I felt like this was one that was like well-deserved, right? So currently right now, you guys in my life, like I'm in a career space, like a career um, crossroad or whatever. And um, I have been trying to decide like where I want to go with my career going forward. So I have been like in property management, government, financial reporting. That's kind of like my sector. That's kind of like my thing, right? That's what I realized what my niche is. But as I get older, I realize that there are other factors that are much more important to me, just my career, like work-life balance and being able to travel more and to do my YouTube um, and spend more quality time with my family and my friends. And over the past, what, 14, 15 years, I was constantly a worker, like a workaholic, a hustler, right? But now I realize that, like, how, how valuable life is now and I want to kind of slow down and enjoy the moments that I have with my loved ones and friends and do some of the things that actually make me genuinely happy. So, a little small story. Um, so, currently at my current job, um, I was offered uh, to take on a position. Um, the job, um, I was excited about it for the most part at first um, but then I realized like it's something I needed to think about so um, I was presented an offer for the job and I went on vacation and I told my boss I was like hey I was like can I have a little time to think about it she's like sure take some time to think about it and I knew everyone was really gun ho for me to take the position because the people that I worked for was like yes we're on board uh, the consultant, she was on board, my boss, co-workers, you know, were, they were all on board in me taking this position. So I went on vacation and during my vacation, I really didn't get to enjoy my vacation as much as I wanted to because in the back of my, my mind, the idea of me taking that job or not taking that job kind of like rests in the balance. And I felt like the job was was going to take away from my life personally, right? So I was on vacation and um, having a great time and um, I, I, I woke up in the middle of the night on vacation. I was like, let me write down the pros and the cons of the job. So the pro, I'll tell you some of the pros were, um, um, you know, more salary increase, you know, managerial role and um, uh, uh, flex some, some flexibility and um, um, uh, a, a better knowledge base. And then some of the cons were <laughs> most hated person in the office. <laughs> um, and another con I had was um, more work. And so I looked at the, I, it, was more, it was more to that, but I looked at my, my pros and my cons and I was like, okay, this seems like, okay. Well, anyway, fast forward. I came back and my boss and I had a conversation. She was like, you know, let's sit down and chat. So we sat down and chat and I told her, I was like, hey, I need one more day, but 80% to 90% I'm going to take the job. She's like, okay, great. So that night I went home and I laid in bed and like I literally was filled with like so much anxiety because I had to make a decision the next day. I felt like I had to make a decision the next day. So I woke up, I finally ended up falling to sleep and I woke up and I said, you know what? I said, I'm not going to take this job. And I was like, God, please give me a sign that it is not meant for me to take the job. So I, I got into the office and my boss called my line and I knew she wanted to talk about it like right then and there, but I was like, no, I need like one more hour before I make my final decision. So I told her I would call her back like at 11 o'clock to give her my final decision. So I went to the back office, I called my mom and I was like, mom, I just don't really know what to do. I'm just so on the fence about this job. And um, 
I, I, I want to take it, and I feel like if I don't take it, I'm going to let the people in my office down. But deep down inside me, like, I really don't want the job. Um, and she's like, you know, Paul, you have to do what is best for you, and this is the moment for you to be selfish and figure out what you want. And I also knew that this wasn't the career path that I wanted to go, but I also knew that there was so much I could learn from this role, this role anyway. So then I called my best friend, Dante, and he was like, listen, he was like, you have already made the decision, do it. Like, he was very cut and dry. We talked about some other things, but he was very cut and dry. And, and then he knew me. He knew deep down inside from my conversation and what I was telling him that uh, I really didn't want to take the job, right? So I called my boss back, and uh, she's like, yeah, we were chatting. I said, okay, I finally made my final decision. And uh, I was like, I'm not going to take the job. Like, she was silent. Like, it, it was so silent. The silent was so deadly. To the point where, like, she had to, like, kind of, like, catch herself. It was like, okay, well, you know, Paul, I support you. But I can see that, like, I slightly had disappointed her. Um, but did she did say, like, do you feel, like, a sense of relief? And in that moment, I did feel, like, a sense of relief because I was like, yeah, this job is not really meant for me. So, long story short, I ended up a call with her. And I go back into my office. And I told one of my coworkers that I didn't take the job. And my coworker, my coworker said in verbatim, oh, good that you didn't take the job because you would have been the most hated person in the office. And then everything in me kind of connected, like just like that. And it was like, wasn't that the same thing you wrote down on that paper in regards to the pros and cons when you were on vacation? And it all clicked. And that's what I, and that's what I mean sometimes, and, and that's what I mean when you ask God for something. You may not hear his voice, but he will connect things to you that make sense. And that was a moment of clarity for me that I made the right decision. So sometimes in life, and again guys, a lot, in, in most of my career, like I don't turn down no job. If it's more money, I don't care what the job is, I don't turn it down. Like it, it's, I, I didn't really, jobs prior, I wouldn't turn them down. I would take that money, hustle, do what I got to do. If it would have stressed me out, I didn't care. I would do it. But this was the first time I would say in my working career that I have ever turned down a job, um, especially in a company that I've been with, oh, been with over like eight, eight, eight years, eight to nine years. So I realized I made the right decision, and I, and I feel good about this decision that I make. And I realized that the right job for me will come. I just have to, I have to be patient and wait. And now I realize that you have to think things through. You can't take every opportunity that you see in your face because it may not be the right opportunity and you might be walking into a death trap. And I realized that if I took that job, my reputation of my eight to nine years that I've worked so hard for at my company would have been tarnished. And I would have lost the respect of my coworkers taking on that role. God bless whoever takes that job. Good luck to them. But at the end of the day, you have to listen to your intuition. You have to listen to your heart. You have to stop. You have to meditate. You have to pray on it. And you have to listen to the universe or whoever you believe in and look for the signs to make sure that you're making the right decision. So that's my confessional for today, you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and click the bell. And I will see you guys on my next video. Peace.